it's your guy Ben Dude, and I'm coming at y'all with another video today. At all today, you know, as promised, we're gonna be talking about this Syria airstrike, man. This is a real sad story. So basically, it was revealed back in 2019 under Donald Trump um, that an airstrike that was carried out by the military actually killed like 80 something civilians. So, um, this is the article. This is the article from Reuters that I'm gonna be pulling up now. I thought they did a good job on it. Well, semi good job on this. So let's go ahead and get into that. So, yeah, U.S. military hid airstrikes that killed dozens of civilians in Syria. So the original story is from The New York Times. This is from Reuters, though. Uh, the U.S. military covered up 2019 airstrikes in Syria that killed up to 64 women and children, a possible war crime during the battle against Islamic um, against ISIS, who we funded to overthrow Syria. Then we went in to fight them and then we funded them to go into different look it, it, it's weird and they're currently occupying northern syria right now okay the two back-to-back -back airstrikes near the town of bagus i don't know if that's how you say it were ordered by classified american uh special operations unit tasked with ground operations in syria according to the report the newspaper said that u.s central command which oversaw u.s air operations in syria acknowledged acknowledged the strikes for the first time this week and said they were justified let me read that again the newspaper said that u.s central command which oversaw u.s air operations in syria acknowledged the strikes for the first time this week and said they were justified. Okay, I just wanted to make sure I read that right. They said it was justified. So they killed 64 women and children, but it was justified. Okay, cool. In a statement on Saturday, Central Command reiterated the account it gave the newspaper that 80 people were killed in the airstrikes, including 16 Islamic State fighters and four civilians. The military said it was unclear if the other 60 people were civilians, partly because women and children could have been combatants. I'm not laughing at the situation. I'm laughing at the fact that that like this is what they do every time they like they investigate themselves and they never find any wrongdoing amongst themselves. You know, this is this kind of reminds me of when Tucker Carlson um asked Tulsi Gabbard if there would be accountability, you know, amongst the military when things like this happen. I believe it was in reference to the um the airstrike Biden did in Afghanistan where he killed uh, a couple of women and children there too and like she was just like yeah i'm not going to answer that question but i'm, I'm going to talk about you know the islamist state yeah um how about we talk about the accountability tulsi and this isn't like like just to go at tulsi i'm just saying like this is like that's the the mindset behind these mil these military thumpers you feel me and you know i'm not here to shit on soldiers i have friends that are soldiers that are in the military you feel me i'm not shitting on soldiers i'm shitting on the overall military industrial complex the fact that we're in syria where they had a democratically elected leader and because the united states didn't like that leader and didn't like the fact that that leader was blocking our corporation's business interest in that country we funded al-qaeda literally al-qaeda to go in and overthrow that country and a whole new group which is isis was created and then we had to go in and fight the people that we paid to overthrow the country in the first place. Trained, paid, all that. It's, it's... Fuck the United States, bro. That's just where I'm at, dog. In Saturday's statement, the military said the strikes were legitimate self-defense, proportional, uh, and that appropriate steps were taken to rule out the presence of civilians. I'm sure they were. Sure they were. Uh, Barack Obama's drone strike killed like ninety percent civilians. So don't. So don't. So I'm sorry if like I don't believe you <laughs> when you say that. Um, the number of civilians among the sixty fatalities could not be determined because multiple armed women and at least one armed child were observed in the video of the events it said adding that the majority of the 60 were likely combatants just like the two journalists they thought they had weapons in the collateral um in the collateral murder the collateral murder video that wikileaks released you know which is why julian assange is sitting in a cell right the fuck now and why they've been persecuting him for like the last decade yeah kind of like that 
Central Command said the strikes took place while Syrian Democratic forces were under heavy fire and in danger of being overrun, and the SDF had reported the area clear of civilians. Yeah, just like the White Helmets always, you know, you know, the White Helmets said it was the Bashar al-Assad government that, you know, did the Syrian air gas strikes, and that turned out, or gas attacks, and that turned out to not be true either. Um, the Defense Department's Inspector General launched an inquiry into the uh, March 18, 2019 incident, but its report was ultimately stripped of any mention of the bombing and a thorough independent probe never took place. According to the Times, the newspaper said, I believe they were doing the dumbass Russia probe or no, the, the um, Ukraine gate situation at that time. So they could have been investigating United, you know, our fucking war crimes. But instead, we're going to do a dumbass little thing because we don't like this guy that's in office now. So we're not going to, like, you know, investigate war crimes. Um, but we're going to talk about how China commits war crimes. We're going to talk about how Iran commits war crimes. We're going to talk about how Syria commits war crimes. Yeah, OK. Um, the newspaper said its reports was based on confidential documents and descriptions of classified reports, as well as interviews with personnel directly involved and th this is from an air force lawyer that said this this is what blew my mind an air force lawyer present in the operations center at the time believed the strikes were possible war crimes and later alerted the defense department's inspector general and a senate armed services committee when no action was taken was taken the time said so that was the article from reuters and of course it's no surprise man like they're they're going to continue doing this because war sells the mill. You know, nobody's going to stand up against the military industrial complex. We thought Tulsi was going to do it. Then Tulsi comes out in support of, you know, she comes out in support of drone strikes. Um, crickets on this. She's she's running around talking about big and small government like it's fucking 2004. <laughs> um, go figure. Um, yeah. So, you know, nobody's going to stand up against the war machine. Nobody's going to do it. Um. I don't know. I honestly don't know what to say anymore, man. All the videos I've done talking about this, you know, talking about Syria, obviously, talk, obviously talking about imperialism and things like that. Like, as long as the money's there, I don't see anything changing, unfortunately. And that's 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 a pity, you know, and I, I feel bad saying that because I'm sitting here and, you know, relatively safe, not, not even relatively and safe ass fucking America. I don't have to worry about a bomb dropping on my house any moment. So I kind of feel like a dick for saying it like that, but I'm saying that because like I want it to change. You feel me? I, you know, I don't, I don't want those people to have to suffer through that, but unfortunately there's moneyed interest in this, in this world, you know, and in this country, obviously, and that's not going to change. And Americans only care about imperialism, you know, when they're playing teams, you feel me? Whether it's the left talking about anti-imperialism, this, that, and the third, but then they, they, you know, they push the wartime propaganda, you know, China's brutal, you know, China's committing genocide on Uyghurs or, or, or Iran has a nuclear bomb. They don't have fair and safe elections. You know, Nicaragua doesn't have fair and safe elections. Venezuela is starving its people. While we're, you know, but our, while, meanwhile, our country has sanctions on the more you have people on the right that just as long when it comes to the military, they cheer it on because they believe they're cheering on their sons and daughters when really your sons and daughters are going over killing innocent people and then coming back and killing them fucking selves. Because they're fucked up in the head after they had to do that shit. Um, I thought the Kaepernick situation would kind of bring light to that. You know, I, I saw people having debates about like, like, you know just the role of the military with the Kaepernick kneeling, you know, obviously along with, you know, the, the leading thing, which is police brutality, which is just as important of an issue. But like one of the questions I didn't hear people asking was why do we have a military basically propaganda show like during football games? Like what the fuck does the military have to do with football? Never heard nobody ask that question. Like the fact that this wasn't always a fucking thing. <laughs> the fact that, you know, the, basically the Defense Department paid for this, basically, there is paid advertisement by the Defense Department to recruit more people to go kill innocent people, to go kill more innocent people on behalf of United States fucking corporations. That's all the United, that's all the United States military has ever been. It's been a Gestapo thug machine for corporations. That's what it's always fucking been. Whether it was the big fruit companies, the tobacco companies, whether it was to keep slaves in line from rebelling. You know, during slavery, whether it was to further encroach and steal Native Americans land, that's all the military has been a Gestapo thug force. And when you uphold, you're, you're literally upholding 
upholding a Gestapo. You know, people talk about China, people talk about Russia, people talk about Iran, people talk about all these countries that the United States doesn't like because they refuse to bend the knee um, to the United States. Um, you know, the United States military is the biggest purveyor of violence in this country. The United States is the biggest polluter um, in the world. It's the biggest purveyor of, of violence in the world is what I meant to say. Um, it's the biggest bully in the world. Like. I don't know what else to say. Like, that's just as that's that's the truth. That's facts. You know, um, as as Ben Shapiro would say, facts don't care about your feelings. But of course, Ben Shapiro is a fucking cuck to power, so he's not going to, you know, um, be consistent on his own words. Um, so he probably wouldn't approve of me using them. But guess what? Ben Shapiro can go fucking suck a dick. <laughs> I don't know why I even brought him up i just thought i like that saying that he says because you know facts really don't care about your feelings but it, it's weird when a guy who says that word who says those words like when it comes to issues you know that has to do with his feelings that's when facts are completely remiss but regardless um the war machine needs to be stopped man that's why i understand you know people talk about well look at it like i think dylan radigan was talking about this when he did his epic rant about like you know um the the whole you know islam conversation and everything like people always bring well look they want death to america they they scream death to america yeah i'd be screaming death to america too if i watched an american bomb peel my grandmother's face off if i watched an american bomb disintegrate my child in their beds while they're sleeping i would say death to your fucking country too i would i would I, you know what i would i would go around chopping off people's fucking heads too that had anything to do with you if you did that to me if you were invading my country, if you were running drugs in and out of my country and funneling it around the world and most, you know, most importantly to my people, installing brutal dictatorships in my country, I would say, fuck you, too. Deaf to you, too. I would say that, too. I don't know what you want to say. Um, it's, it's, And I know I kind of got off topic from the Syria conversation, but. Sorry, it's getting a little parched, but like. We know the we we know the bullshit psyop campaign is going on around Syria. We know they they've lied, you know everything about Syria. Basically, everything they've told us has been a lie. We know they we know they've been trying to overthrow Syria since the fifties. They've never been able to do it ever since they overthrew Iran and installed installed uh installed a brutal dictator there. They've been trying to overthrow Syria. Um, it, it, it's I wanted to end, man. Like I said, I feel bad saying it like this because again, those people are really suffering. You know, I'm sitting, I'm an American sitting here in the comfort of my home, not having to worry about, you know, um, some fucking radical, you know, some radical regime running into my crib and beheading my mother and, you know, in front of my face or like a random bomb dropping on the roof of my, I don't have to worry about that. Those people do. So that's why I feel like a dick saying it like this, but I'm saying it like this to get the attention of the fucking apathetic Americans, you know, the Americans stuck in apathy, the Americans that only care about imperialism when it comes to owning their political rivals. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close the video out there. As always, like, comment, subscribe and share emphasis on all that. Also, um, there's going to be more content coming out. So definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, I have, you know, as you all know, the Patreon is up and running. I have some ex exclusive videos that's um exclusive to patreon on there so definitely go and check it out they're more fun videos you know a couple serious videos on there as well um i think i'm going to be putting written pieces out soon i know last time i was on here i was talking about that like i said i kind of took a break from everything but i might finish those pieces up and throw it up on the patreon so uh go show love on there as well it would be a great way um you know to help contribute to the show if you can and um as always man i love all of y'all man i know i don't say that a lot on the show but i just been you know feeling that i love all y'all man i hope y'all safe out there you feel me i hope i hope y'all finding happiness somewhere in all of this fuckery so uh with that being said shout out to my guy alfred too alfred i'm back bro i'm back i'm gonna be hitting you up soon and uh yeah thanks for tuning in peace, peace.